Wokim has a problem with gypsies. This is what a lot of people would say. However, is this truly the case? I intend to find out. Me and two colleagues are going to Wokim to see if the gypsy problem is as bad as people say it is. We are now on our way to the Pinewood site in Wokingham. We just want to see what the housing's like and what the general feel for it's really like, as we've never been to a park before. So behind me here we have the local Wokingham Traveller campsite and then right over here we've got a lot of rubbish that they do offload so to get you like a, a brief kind of show us what their kind of area is like. As you can see on the outside you can see a lot of the waste and you see a lot of the like probably like quite hostile areas you can see but inside you can also see that it does look quite clean and well kept. So where we are right now is basically behind the gypsy camp and if you can see around this area you can see the rubbish that the travellers put. Um, so yeah this is um, not very pleasant but um, we're going to carry on. The Wokingham Council has plans to add two more pitch sites to Wokingham Borough area. This would increase the number of travellers in the community by a lot. It could also increase hostility in the area. We wanted to see what the general public thought of the two sites being added to Wokingham. Luckily we've been able to get in touch with the resident of Wokingham, Melanie Young. Um, I think there is an issue within Wokingham as much as there is in other places. I just think there's an issue with the travelling gypsy community as a whole. Because I think the councils and the um, police and the laws are way too lenient on them. I think they get away with much more than anybody else does. I'm paying taxes, um, the theft, the stealing things, um, jobs that they do for people that they don't do properly, um, and all sorts of things that I think um, the police don't control and they're not hard enough on them. Yes, absolutely. A couple of occasions um, they came and bulk cropped my stables and stole a quad bike from me. Um, I managed to find out where it was. I saw them with it over in Binfield, called the police and the police weren't really interested in turning up and dealing with the situation because they are gypsies and they don't like going onto their sites to take things back that have been stolen. Also, also my dog was attacked recently, um, very badly, nearly died. Um, we approached the people, the gypsies uh, next to us whose dog attacked my dog and um, they didn't want anything, take any responsibility. They wouldn't offer any support or money towards um, the vet bills. Um, yeah. No, I haven't. Um, and I'd be interested to know if that is the case. I feel like the gypsy community has grown, is growing really quick, growing really quickly and they do need more areas for them to be but what annoys me is that they, they squat on land and then they get given the rights to that land and you know I feel that that's unfair. If they've bought it, if yeah. they've bought that land and they have dwelling rights on that land absolutely then yes they, they can live there but half the time they buy um, Greenbelt land or, or they buy paddock land mm. and they put their caravans on there and then eventually they'll get planning permission. Mm. Um, I don't think that's fair because we're not allowed to do it. As you can see this is one person who has experienced hostility from the gypsies. We went to see another gypsy site in Cookham to see if it was any different from the one in Wokingham. 
And so where we are right now is the Strand Residence, which is in Cookham. It's quite a famous traveller pitch, so we're just going to go in right now. As you can see, this area is much cleaner than the one we have seen in Wokingham. This breaks a stereotype of gypsies that they're maybe seen as a hassle for people who actually live in the area, but this evidence proves it wrong. This proves that work has to be done in Wokingham to change this, and the gypsies need to be taken accountable for it as well. We were lucky enough to speak to two travellers, Glyn Clements and Dan Hill. We wanted to ask them what they thought of settled people and what settled people thought of them. Do you think there's an issue in Wokingham with the Irish travelling community, or just travellers in general? I mean, it depends who you ask. I don't think with a lot of, of the traveller community there is a big issue, but a small minority do bring a lot of violence with them, but that's not how a lot of us choose to live. Would you say, like, particularly like, in your site, you've seen like this kind of things happen? Or? I've seen it before. Um, in a, in, a, in a site like this, you always see some violence, but a lot of it is, is very, very community oriented. So it's very, very close. I think it's very close. Here. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, so, like, have you heard about any of the plans that about the new like kind of pitches in Wokingham? Because it apparently like 2020, there's going to be all new pitches coming through. I've heard, I've heard some some stuff like that, but I don't know. I think. There's already quite a bad preconceived notion that people have about travellers. And I think if more come, there's going to be more hostility towards us. Yeah. But I personally don't think, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's always good. But you, you never know if it's something. Do you think there's like a particular issue about gypsies, like in local specifically? I'd say there is. There's quite a lot of very well off areas. And a lot of people will look down on travellers and think we're a lot of class and money because they have been like it's what it's what I was said before about what people think of when they hear travellers, they think of a lot of like violence, they think of of just very, very negative images, which is, is the issue obviously. Mm -hmm. In Wokingham kind of, I would say there are some parts which are very, very practical. Yeah. So um the uh like what do you think of like settled people as well? Do you have like a preconceived mindset of like what they're like, but do you think negatively about them or? No, I try not to. I try to go against the stereotypes because it's just all negative. It's all negative, it's never gonna help anyone. I don't I don't have any preconceived notion about anyone. Yeah. But there are some people that will will have that. It's the same with same with any and anywhere. There are people have have these negative images. I think that's all then. Thank you very much, Dan. No Cheers, mate. Uh, so we're here with Glyn. Thank you for your time, Glyn. Um, so first question I want to ask you is, do you think there is an issue in Wokingham with Irish travelling community and travellers in general? Um, no, not at all really. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, to be fair with you. I think it's all good. Uh, no one's really got a problem with us, I don't think, anyway. Not with me. Okay, um, so would you say, like, do you know like, any issues that have like, happened in what you Yeah, a few people, but I mean, like I said, that's not me, that's other people. And yeah, from an outsider perspective, I don't know them that well, the people that have been in trouble, there's a different type. Yeah. So would you say it's like a minority? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So uh, have you heard like any plans about like the new pictures that they're putting in for gypsies in Wokingham? Heard a little bit, just sort of word of mouth kind of thing. It's not really gone through me, it goes through the older people, so, I mean, I'm just bottom of the chain, really. Cool. Um, do you see, like, uh, like, what's your, like, kind of general, like, kind of mentality about um, settled people? Like, do you have any kind of issues as well? No, not really. It's not, it's, I don't um, base an opinion on someone that lives in a house. If you want to live in your house, that's your choice. I want if I want to live in my caravan, I'll live in my caravan. It's just personal preference, really. Would you say there's like an obvious divide or like? Uh, yeah, I would in Wokingham, yeah. But, but yeah, like I said earlier, it's that's them, that's me. I'm my own individual person. I'm different to everyone else. We all are. Yeah. But that's what a lot of people fail to grasp is that we're all different. And yeah, that's as plain as that. Okay, thanks for your time. It's a pleasure, mate. Cheers.
I was quite surprised from the interview. Dan and Glyn did not fit the gypsy stereotype at all. It is clear only a minority of gypsies are causing issues in the local area. To conclude, clearly a lot of work needs to be done to improve the relationship between the settled people and the travelling community. From what I've seen, the travelling community needs to stop being blamed as a whole, as it's only a minority that is committing the crimes. Just as it is with settled people, but I also think some gypsies in the Wokingham area need to be more respectful of their town, as littering is clearly an issue and the travellers that are causing issues need to take responsibility and stop.